Hello and welcome to Real Talk with Triple Mint, where we tell you how to live your fiercest life in New York City. I am Austin Bradley of Triple Mint. I'm Senior Director of Operations. This is... I'm Bailey Gladys, <laughs> Director of Operations for the Whitman team here at Triple Mint, the top producing team at the company. Yes. And I'm Joshua Juno, a licensed real estate salesperson and the rental manager here at Triple Mint. Okay, everyone say the first thing that comes to your mind. One, two, three. Tittle. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a Did you say tittle? <laughs> tittle is what he said. I don't think tittle is a word. Tittle it's like is the, it's the dot on the it's eye. It's the dot on the eye. We that just is something. a thing? Yeah, the, yes. that's the dot on the eye is called the tittle. Tittle. T tittle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So what we want to talk about today is um, what we love to do in New York City during the summer and some of the things about summer in New York City that are kind of like thumbs down. Like, what was it, Roger and Ebert? Like, two thumbs down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Josh, why don't you start? Great. Um, my favorite thing about living in the city has to be the amount of things that you can do outside. Um, we spent an entire six to seven months inside, cramped up in our apartments, cold, under blankets, watching Netflix. It is summer in the city. It is a vibrant place to live. There are food festivals. There are outdoor movies. There are concerts in the park that are free. Like there's so many things to take advantage of here. And the best part is, is that every single neighborhood kind of has its own thing. So it sounds like you just love to be out and about during the summer. Have Give us your thumbs down moment. Okay, thumbs down moment is actually thumbs down year round, but it's more relevant during the summer because of the amount of tourists that we have. And it would be the Times Square mascots. They don't even commit to their craft because like you can't be Mario and have half of your face showing and also Mario's face showing. It just doesn't make sense. And even worse, whenever you see them, like you see like, a transformer holding the transformer's head and it's a normal guy's face. It reminds me of in Men in Black where there was that like that guy got cut open and there was that little alien inside of him like that's, <laughs> like that's running the show. So that's what you that's your thumbs down moment. Thumbs what down. he does not like up. about the city. Bailey, what do you love? Okay, I love, I do love that there's a lot of outdoor stuff going yeah. on, but what I really love about the city is the, you, you spend all winter indoors. You're just repeating what he said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but cheers okay, to a what? retweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I like is the fact that a lot of people travel on the weekends because we have so many great places to go nearby, right? Like you have so Fire easy. Island, you have the Hamptons, you have Montauk, you have Rockaway right. if you don't want to go too far. What's your favorite place to travel to during the summer? I like going up Fire Island. Like, we had two summer chairs out there. We did Dunkaroos, you know, because you know what Dunkaroo is. I can never get a house out there. Why? Why? Because you have to book it like a year in advance. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta get like every other I thought you were saying like you were against it. I was like, no, be for it because it's celebratory. Everything yeah. there is celebratory. <laughs> They're teas? One thing I do like about New York City <laughs> real estate in the summer, <laughs> I'd like to do a segue to real estate. Even though a lot of locals travel during the summer, no. the people who are here, get really good deals if you're a buyer. So the summer market for sales is arguably the one of two most, let me collect my thoughts. <laughs> summer is the slowest market during the entire year for sellers. So if you're in town and you're a buyer in the city, you're probably gonna get a good deal because there's not a lot of people putting bids on properties because everybody's traveling to the Hamptons. Right. Um, it is the time to buy. It's the time to buy, especially during the summer because there's a lot of great deals to be had. And rentals, I don't think that's the case. That yeah, rentals, well, it's, it's always the time to it's rent. It's the busiest time to, yeah, to move. Busiest but time. there's a lot of opportunity to rent and quickly. And yeah. that's what's great. But it's also the, I think the best inventory for rentals comes available during the summer because yeah. did you guys know that used to in New York City, Every move date was May 1st. Everyone yep. in New York City used to move on May 1st. So I didn't know there's that. most of the inventory is still on that cycle. Or they're trying, landlords are trying to entice you with 16, 18 month leases in the winter time to get you on that right. cycle because everyone is moving. Every demographic needs an apartment. There's not a lot of inventory. They can they can get you in quickly. On to the thing that I hate about New York City. Did you guys not know? Hate. There's an opportunity for improvement. There's an opportunity for improvement because today it's been 174 degrees outside <laughs> and I curled my hair to come to work today and now it looks like I jumped in the Hudson River, kayaked to Hoboken, and came back to work during lunch. Your hair looks incredible. That was cool. So, anyways, it's hot as sh 
outside during the summer. True. Everything smells like trash, including my hair now. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not walking down an avenue with a breeze, you're going to melt and you possibly are. pass away. Yeah, I can confirm about her hair. Um, my, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing to do in the city during the summer is the Brooklyn Bridge Park in Dumbo. Mm -hmm. We've all been there. Yeah. It's actually it. my favorite neighborhood. You love Dumbo. But the Brooklyn Bridge Park has all of like the street stuff that you were just talking about, like the, the movies, movies outdoors, it has the carousel, it has one of the best views of Manhattan. Um, and I want to talk to you about something I found out today or realized today, or it could mean nothing. Uh, and that's like the housing stock in Dumbo and West Village. I was trying to like understand the market there. There's the same amount of inventory available for rentals and sales in both Dumbo and West Village. And that was, I don't think I've ever like Wait. compared the oh. two markets together. That is interesting. It's like witchy kind of. It is. I think somebody cast a spell in the inventory. And now we know. <laughs> All right. So this was Real Talk with Triple Mint. Do you guys have anything else to say? Yeah. Oh. Get on a bike. Take a ride. Because <laughs> it's 174 degrees. All right. And there's one last thing. Um, on three, say what comes to your mind. One, two, three. Air conditioning. S somebody. <laughs> See, <I'm tired. laughs> Tittle. I think this is my new favorite game. This is Real Talk with Triple Mint. I am Austin. I'm Bailey. And I'm Joshua. And we want to talk to you. So please send in your questions or things that you want us to talk about on the show to realtalk at triplemint.com and or follow us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Ciao for now. Cheers. Oh.